Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. When we install SOLIDWORKS, our interface looks like this. Now the interface itself is customizable and we're going to be looking at how we can customize the command manager. The command manager is this toolbar that sits at the top of the graphics area. Now first thing we're going to look at is floating and docking the command manager. To float the command manager in the graphics area, just simply drag and drop it from the top screen like so. You are free to place this in the graphics area or off the screen. So if you work on multiple screens, for example, this command manager could be on a completely different screen. We have the ability to turn on and off auto collapse. And what that will do is basically, as we come away from the command manager, it collapses. As we hover back over it, it expands. Now, in order to dock it, what we need to do is just grab hold of it. And as we do so, uh, three arrows appear, two at the sides and one at the top of the screen. If you want to dock the command manager, just simply drag and drop it onto those arrows. Like so. The command manager itself can be turned on and off. Uh, if we right click in the toolbar area, we can toggle it off or on like so. We can also change the way it displays the tools. So if we want to turn off uh, the text, for example, we can do that. Okay, if we want to add more tabs to this, we can right click in the tab area and you have a series of standard tabs there that you can add in. Okay, now you wouldn't normally turn all of these on, uh, it would just normally be the ones that you would use on a regular basis. We can also customize the command manager. And when we do that, it brings up this dialog box here. And from here, if we want to add more commands to our uh, command manager, for instance, we can just simply drag and drop them from here like so. Or similarly, if you want to remove them, just drag and drop them off. It's also possible to um, add a new toolbar just simply right click on the new tab and you can add a tab based on an existing set of tools or a completely new set of tools. So if we go for an empty tab here, I'll call this common tools. And on this toolbar, I just want everything that I use on a regular basis. Uh, so we may have uh, some sketch tools. We may have some feature tools. And I also do a little bit of sheet metal, so I'll have some of those tools on there. Now you can alter the way that these tools are displayed on the uh, toolbar itself. If you want to sort of group them into uh, recognizable groups, uh, you can right click and just begin a group like so, and it will just separate the tools with a, a line. And we can put the text to the side, and from there you can see that we can fit more tools on the toolbar, or we can completely remove the text. So you can see there that we can fit many more tools on the same toolbar. Okay, that brings us to the end of the demonstration. Thank you for watching.